Hello, my name is Melissa Dannon, and today I'll be talking about the effects of the drug flufenazine on equine behavior, mostly in racehorses. Flufenazine is a potent antipsychotic drug that's often used to treat schizophrenia and other mental disorders in humans, and it has been shown to reduce agitation in racehorses enhancing their performance and causing them to place higher in certain races because they're not as agitated and anxious in the gates. It has no known therapeutic value and is purely a performance enhancing drug so it has been banned by the Association of Racing Commissions International and has not been approved for any veterinary use as well. But it is still often used illegally by owners. Um, it works by blocking the dopamine receptors in the brain, which reduces aggressive and spontaneous activity. Um, natural dopamine deficiencies actually cause Parkinson's and can have been shown to cause rigidity in horses and other large livestock species. So it can have some serious adverse side effects, including involuntary motor movement and increased anxiety and agitation and restlessness as well as elevated heart rate that can lead to death if not treated in a timely manner. Some horses are actually predisposed to these effects because they have a more extensive extrapyramidal section of the brain where dopamine receptors have an inhibiting effect. Um, this can be controlled with other drugs if the horse does start to exhibit these serious side effects. Diphenhydramine is a sedative that is the most common way to treat these adverse side effects. Um, a new up and coming drug that isn't currently being studied to treat some side effects that happen with certain drugs is um, benzotropine mycelite, mycelite. This is actually um, used to treat Parkinson's in humans. Um, it's been a lot less studied but um, the results have been really promising that in the future this could be also be used to treat these serious side effects. Talk about a little uh, case study of a four-year-old thoroughbred gelding who underwent surgery um, and the owners used fufenazine afterwards as a sedative to prevent him from injuring himself and breaking open the stitches. Soon after the fufenazine was administered he began having seizures and extreme muscle movements. The veterinarian originally diagnosed as either West Nile virus or rabies, but they had to do some blood work, um, which actually came back clean, and the environment was examined and was not shown to have any anything inside it that could have caused the horse to behave this way. So it was di diagnosed with flufenazine-induced side effects after the owners um, admitted that they had used flufenazine to control the horse's behavior. Flufenazine side effects are actually really difficult to diagnose because the drug is illegal, so owners are not forthcoming with the information that they have actually given the horse this drug, but it can be life-threatening if not treated. Serum levels quickly fall under values that can be detected by the current tests, so it's really hard to actually get a positive test for this drug. <coughs> There's actually a new, a new assay that's being studied right now that can detect flufenazine at a fraction of the previous concentrations through a liquid-liquid extraction process. This process can actually determine um, flufenazine administration two weeks after being, the horse is given the drug. So it's a lot more sensitive and can be used to um, detect illegal use of the drug much easier. This new assay can also actually distinguish between flufenazine and similarly structured drugs where some of the current assays cannot. Perfenazine is actually not known to cause any adverse side effects and is also often used as a control drug to um, test um, drugs such as flufenazine that can attach to dopamine receptors because it doesn't cause any side effects of its own. And this new assay can actually detect between flufenazine and perfenazine, which is really quite remarkable because none of the current tests can, can actually do that. So it's much more sensitive to very small points of information, 
um, to determine exactly what drug has been used and in what concentration and even when it was used. So it can be used to deter illegal, illegal use of the drug even further. This graph here actually shows that um, you can detect this serum levels of this drug up to two, up to two weeks after administration. Horses one and two on here are actually pretty average horses, and you can see that the serum levels are actually high enough for this test to detect even at 330 uh, hours after administration, which is a little over two weeks. Um, Horse number three is a little bit different. Obviously, the serum levels kind of dropped off after about 200 hours. So it wasn't able to tell, but that is still quite a bit of time if people are racing their horses often. The drug can still be detected up until that point. So more illegal use can actually be um, deterred by... These, this new assay, but it needs a lot more testing to actually be used in the industry. So with all of these negative side effects, there's really no use to the horse. The horse isn't getting anything out of it. It's mostly just to calm the horse and make it perform better than it really should. Usually horses are agitated for a reason whether they are injured or they're uncomfortable with being in the shoe, they have a lack of training, whatever. Usually the agitation is a sign of something more serious. So using this drug actually isn't solving any problem. It's just covering it up. So hopefully in the future with this new assay, they can actually eliminate the use of this drug so that these horses can actually get the treatment they need or get the training they need without just covering up a problem and owners won't be able to risk their horses lives just to get move up a few places in the rankings.